Hey everybody, what's going on? It is 2.35 a.m. here in Los Angeles and we've got the brand new Tesla self-driving 14.1. This has a lot of new options, including the ability to find a parking spot at the end of the destination and park. And I wanted to demonstrate that feature for you right now in this short video. So we're going to Trader Joe's about four minutes away and we're gonna tell it to find a spot and park after it arrives at the grocery store. So let's go ahead and start the drive. And you can see on the screen, it says hurry mode and head into the parking lot when you get to the destination. So let's see if it can get out here. It's a pretty tight parking lot we're in right now to start with. but it seems to be doing pretty well, finding its way out. And we're pulling out onto Sunset Boulevard. It's interesting, the navigation was telling it to make a left turn, but Making a left turn onto Sunset Boulevard like that is kind of a bold move. So the model actually decided to turn right. I really like that. A human doesn't just blindly follow the directions. They use their brain, they look around, and they do what makes sense. And I think you're starting to see the model do that as well. Next, we're gonna be turning left onto Santa Monica Boulevard. That's in a quarter of a mile. So it picked its own route, but the system just rerouted and we're still on the way to Trader Joe's. Feeling nice and quick here. Looks like we got someone walking backwards through the crosswalk. some stragglers who were partying last night in West Hollywood. Got some people making out. Someone making out with a fat girl. I might regret that in the morning. Looks like they're having a great time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks like they're in love. Mm -hmm. And we got the green light. Nice smooth left turn onto Santa Monica Boulevard. And in a quarter mile, we're gonna make a left turn onto Westmount Drive and pull into Trader Joe's. Alright, here's Trader Joe's on the left, and the car is pulling into the parking garage, very nice. And let's see what it does now that it's here. Should be looking for a parking spot. seems to be circling the parking lot a little bit, maybe looking for the best spot. It's now made a full circle around the parking lot. And it's now decided on a spot that it likes. And there you go. It's now parked. Can we pull up the reverse camera? 
Perfect. And it looks, yeah, looks like we're within the lines. So great job, FSD. Maybe could have parked the first time without making a lap around the parking lot, but I like that it's looking for the best spot. And I think this is a pretty good one. So there you have it, destination options for FSD. You can ask it to pull over curbside. You can ask it to park in a parking lot. As a matter of fact, maybe we should show those destination options. Um, why don't we navigate to the Tesla Diner? Uh, maybe just do it on the map. And let's hit the start self-driving button. Then click on the down arrow there. And you can see the destination option. So right now it says when you uh, get there, park at the charger. So the Tesla Diner is a charging location and we can ask it to park at the charger for us so that we can uh, plug our car in while we're eating at the Tesla Diner. So now we're pulling out of the parking lot here, back onto the street. Going very cautiously there on a steep driveway to avoid bottoming, bottoming out my car, I like that. And we're making a left turn onto Santa Monica Boulevard, headed for the Tesla Diner, two miles until La Brea Avenue. The speed limit's about 35, I'm in hurry mode, and FSD is choosing to go about 40, just nice speed. nice and smooth Wow the way it handles those turns is great hmm. a lot of trash being blown in front of me there didn't confuse the self-driving system though. And looks like we got someone crossing the light on green. But they had already passed by the time we got there, so the car didn't slow down. They did appear in the visualization though. Really nice and quick. We're about halfway there, one mile to La Brea Avenue, where we can find the Tesla Diner. Yeah, I mean, it's really starting to feel like a robo-taxi. After it parks at the Tesla Diner, it'll have basically completed two trips, exited a parking lot, parked, exited a parking lot and parked, all without anyone ever touching the steering wheel or pedals. You really just control the car through the screen now. You set what you want it to do in the software. All right, looks like we're maybe going around a slow car here, but it looks like it's maybe reconsidering it because we do need to turn left onto La Brea in a quarter mile. I like that. A lot of times when there's a turn coming up, FSD 13 would make a lane change that would kind of surprise me. Like, why are you making a lane change to the left? We need to exit in, you know, half a mile or something like that. Um, 
and it's good to see that it's kind of reconsidering some of its decisions to go around cars if it actually would make it potentially harder to to avoid missing the turn. All right, we're going to turn left onto La Brea here. The light is green. There's no green arrow. So we do need to check for traffic. But there's no traffic, so we can just complete the turn in one nice fluid motion. Next, we're going to be making a right turn onto Lexington Avenue, which is right here. Really nice the way it's slowing down for a nice smooth right turn there. Stopping at the stop sign and we've still got that NHTSA stop to zero. I think the new administration should overrule this Biden era decision to make us stop fully at stop signs. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, and now we're pulling in to the Tesla Diner chargers. And you can see it is backing in. Wow, this is going to be amazing for doing a cross-country drive. You could really just have it go all the way to the charger and park. And let's check the parking job again with the backup camera. Again, right between the lines. But I have seen it also back out again to straighten itself out if needed. So there you have it. That's destination options on Tesla FSD 14.1. It's a big improvement and hopefully everyone gets it very soon. Thanks for watching. Wow, it's so good. It does kind of feel more like the robo taxi. Mm -hmm. Like, especially being a passenger and then like remembering what it felt like to be a passenger in the robo taxi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Feels the same. True. Especially the way it kind of can dr drop you off curbside. Yeah. It's, it's literally like if they just had the, what is it called, banish? Once they get that, literally, like, it will do that.